Well, hey guys, what is up? What's going on out there today? Hope you're having a great day so far, wherever you are. Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. A quick, short message to try to get you to believe that, man, there's really a great underspin backhand inside of you. You may not know it. You may not think it. Your underspin backhand just might be laying a little bit short, sitting up a little bit for that, for that opponent over there. But I'm sure you've hit enough of them over in your in your lifetime, some really good ones, and we just got to find a way to let it out. Guys, before we get and do a little deeper dive on this, guess what? Yeah, uh, if you haven't already done so, I want you to hop on over to webtennis.com when we're done because you got to get into my private training. It's a video, but it is free, and what we're going to work on is a four step-by-step between points routine. It's over at webtennis.com. Dot com And it's really, I mean, it's just a game changer, right? If you think about between points time and, you know, side changes and all that, man, that's 80% of the match on average is spent not playing points. Only 20% of the time are we actually playing points. So if you really manage that 80% of the match well, you set yourself up to play the points up to the top of your skill level consistently. And that's a big confidence boost right there. So when we're done, and I will remind you uh, when we're done, go on over to webtennis.com and get inside that free training. All right, look, uh, I, whether it's a you know, a great underspin backhand, maybe it's a big time forehand, maybe it's a, a high bouncing, shall we say, kick type of second serve. I'll bet you it's just lurking inside of you waiting to come out. And one of the problems that we get into is we just don't believe it. And so what we end up doing is kind of fighting the ball, you know, quote unquote fighting. And what I mean by that is like, let's take this for an example, an underspin backhand drop. You just want to slide that thing deep, make it skid, make it stay low and make it sort of underneath that player's over their strike zone. And too often what we do is we fight it by just gripping the racket way too tight. And just because we're just, we're just not convinced that we can play it and so we just get a little, a little too strong in the grip with it, and we get tight. We get anxious, right? So, look, I want you to go out there, and I want you to believe that, and this is assuming that you've hit, I'm sure, dozens if not hundreds of really good underspin backhand drives in your, in your tennis life. You just got to stop fighting it. Just got to trust it. Got to believe it. And just go out there and drill it and just relax and let your let sh, let your racket swing freely through the ball, and over time you'll start to trust it and believe it. So, look, guys. In the meantime, uh, I want you to go on over to webtennis.com and get enrolled in that course. Enrolled, it's free. All you got to do is drop in a first name and email address, and you'll get immediate access to what I think is a game changing private but free video, the four step by step between points routine. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And when you are disciplined to doing these four steps, I'm telling you, you are going to raise your game, meaning that whatever is the top of your skill level right now, you are way more consistently be play at that, to be playing at that, at that level. And that's when you start to build some trust and confidence in your game when you know you don't have wide swings from great stuff to not so great stuff, right? Um, so anyway, webtennis.com, you'll get inside that course and, um, I know it's going to be good for you. All right, guys, it's time. We got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again next time.